Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your financial outcomes for the month of January 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what the tarot has to say for you um, in terms of the area for money, career, and all of that. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So that is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Maybe some of you have water placements. Um, maybe this uh, month for you in terms of finances has a lot to do with the kind of future that you want. So some of you could be really thinking about what do I need to do financially in order to secure the kind of um, lifestyle, future um, accomplishments, or more like the kind of lifestyle um, that you want to maintain as well because it's not just about securing something but it's also about maintaining that and so I feel like a lot of you are looking for almost like a steady stream of income um, or financial abundance or independence that really allows you to keep um, doing something without having to change the strategy or change how you're doing it because sometimes I feel like the worst part about being uh, bound by financial limitations is that you constantly feel like you're scraping the barrel and doing all kinds of different things in order to achieve you know some sort of result. and so I feel like when we find something that works and we can keep doing it over time we really have found that perfect recipe and so I feel like this month could be about doing that really just figuring out what to do and then how to keep that going so that you can maintain that financial um, abundance and success. So we have the Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Strength, which is Leo, and the Four of Swords. So you could be dealing with a fire sign as well, uh, maybe a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Some of you could have um, something in your mind that is um, having to do with money, but there also could be something about a relationship or a partnership, um, whether it's a business partnership, maybe something within your uh, personal life that is kind of making you um, think about money or your finances in a different way. And this is also something that I got similar to Taurus where, and I'm not going to be surprised if we're all, you know, collectively going to be um, thinking this way in January simply because it is the start of the year. And so naturally the way that we approach everything is going to be with this new kind of perspective um, and this refreshing kind of uh, outlook where we're all trying we're all trying to kind of attribute meaning to the beginning of the year and trying to put everything in a uh, balance here so when it comes to finances you could be thinking about the things in your life that you want to protect um, or you may be thinking about the things in your life that require you to be brave but you know that at the end of the day it could be worth it so maybe financially Gemini what you're doing right now is you're kind of like putting yourself in a very interesting position where you're trying something new uh, for the first time and hoping that you can maintain that right and so a lot of you are figuring that out this month you're going to figure out is this something i can keep doing is this something i can maintain so six of pentacles could be maybe some of you are taking a risk um, and deciding to invest right maybe you're um, deciding to invest in another person uh, maybe you're investing in a business maybe you're doing stocks right you're choosing to trust the process and say i'm going to be brave and i'm going to put this effort in hope that i get that reciprocation Right, I hope that I get that return of investment. And that's what that Six of Pentacles is really saying. Um, Queen of Wands, there's something here about passion or like really um, liking what you're doing as well. So a lot of you have embedded um, that desire into um, the ways that you're trying to create abundance in your life. There could also be maybe a divine feminine energy surrounding you at this time, which could also be you yourself, um, that is really kind of creating an inspiration in order to attract more abundance into your life. Four of Swords could be a sense of uh, satisfaction, but also kind of like maybe needing to dial back on some things to really sit and think about how you're going to execute this plan. A lot of you have been working very hard and I feel like the last few days or weeks could have been really good in terms of having some more downtime to really think through these things, but some of you need more of that, right? Some of you need even more time to really just um, figure things out because I feel like when uh, we are during like during these times, right, the holidays, we may be spending a lot more um, than we anticipate. And so I feel like the Four of Swords is kind of like, don't worry, let's just try to recover. Um, but let's also not put that pressure on ourselves if we have had more fine, uh, more expenses, because we're going to be okay in the long run. So some of you kind of need to disconnect from um, the pressure of trying to do all the things at once in this moment. So I think that the length 
of time that it will take for you to feel more um, secure and to just comfortable with the idea of money could be you know spent um, during the entire month so basically what i'm saying gemini is kind of like if at the beginning of january you're feeling stressed um, i feel like by the end of it you're going to be a, a lot more relieved and just kind of relaxed overall because again you're trying something new here so a lot of you need to just kind of go with the flow um, and allow yourselves to just experiment at this time so all right this one is kind of all over the place um but it's it's a good it's a good energy for sure um let's clarify the strength for some reason i'm also thinking some of you could be um having some sort of expenses when it comes to pets or yeah some of you not all of you but some of you have pets or you know kind of like um uh, because I'm seeing this Queen of Wands and I, I can't help but notice that little black cat, right? And then I'm seeing the, the moon here that just came out and there's, you know, the wolves and then the strength is the lion. So I'm thinking animal. Some of you could just be having expenses related to your animals or like you're investing in one. Anyway, uh, tangent aside, we have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So there's something here that you're being courageous about when it comes to your finances. And I think that a lot of that courage is necessary because what you're doing, um, again, which could be very new for a lot of you, it will lead you to that inevitable world of the unknown. And so a lot of you are kind of looking at this and you're like, okay, I don't really know what to expect, but I just know I wanna try it out. And so you're really putting yourself in this position because you're curious and you're wanting to see if it's really gonna to amount to the results that you think it will. Because a lot of you have faith, not only in yourself, but in this process that you're a part of right now. And the justice and the seven of pentacles also kind of describe the feeling of, um, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make this work on my part. So, and honestly, I feel like when we do anything, especially when we're taking risks, as long as we're doing it with the right intentions and we're putting everything from our power into it, I think that, you know, that's a good start. The justice could also be about the fact that this could be something that does kind of create more of a balance in your life, both financially, but also just in general. Personally, I feel like a lot of you are hoping that something works out because you no longer want to have to think about it in the future um, as I am choking up. So some of you have a really, really uh, big uh, goal here that you want to accomplish um, this year when it comes to your finances. However, January, it, it really is the beginning of kind of determining how you're going to make that happen, but starting out really strong, right? Because you're not just thinking, okay, how am I going to do this? You're already starting to put things into place. Um, and that justice card is definitely representing that, right? There's like a a need for justice here for karmic justice and so you're already kind of going through it slow and steady but you're making it happen you're not showing up em empty-handed um, at the beginning of this so very powerful energies uh, to say the least let's go ahead and clarify that four of swords six of cups at the bottom of the deck yeah so again right now you could be like man i've i've spent a lot in the last few days the, these holidays or you know the season has been tough however i feel like you have to kind of lean into the reality of things you know we're i mean i guess trying to think about it practically could be helpful these expenses that you that you've had right um, ask yourself, you know, could you have really gone without doing that? Could you have really gone without having to maybe pay or, or you know, take care of these things? And so sometimes we need to just think that way. And, and that kind of relieves then that pressure. And then we we kind of come to this place of, well, I, you know, I couldn't afford to not do that. So, uh, but again, um, at the end of the day, you know, I think that that feeling, that overwhelming sense of how am I going to recover this? It's going to go away. And we have the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. So again, some of you could have had a loss in the recent past. And I think that that's why, you know, it's kind of hard for me to balance that feeling that you may have at this very moment with the energies that I'm getting for, you know, the the, the near future, right? For January, it's kind of like I'm juggling two, um, two different bags here. But I think that that Five of Cups does represent that loss was significant. But the reward, right, and where you're moving forward in terms of your finances is also going to be significant in fact you're going to get more than what you've lost and that six of swords is saying you're on a good path here just keep going right queen of pentacles kind of ties it all together we saw the queen of cups at the beginning queen of wands here um for the overall energy and now queen of pentacles so you have all the elements on your side here um you are air right so you're kind of the, you're 
making up for that missing component. I feel like uh, when it comes to your finances, it really has a lot to do with the goals that you have. And going back to what I said at the beginning, um, what kind of life do you want, right? What is your lifestyle? How do you want to attain that? But really, how do we maintain it? Um, and so I think that all the pieces are coming together, but really love this for you, Gemini. Hope that you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.